So what were you starting to say? Well, this, this is a this is a you know very tight rock formation, but the upper part of it, as you can see here, it's got a lot of holes and gaps and, and uh, joints in it that allow water to flow through it. There's some soil that is naturally occurring. That's the sort of light brown, and then the darker brown are pieces of the dam which were built back in the 1950s. Hmm. And what happened was uh, near the toe of the dam on the downstream side, uh, there was a sinkhole that opened here near this uh, control building due to water flowing in a way which sort of grabs the soil particles and pulls them down into the rock and transports them away. So you open up voids. And uh, we were very concerned that that phenomenon might then propagate beneath the dam itself. And of course, if you had a pipe of a void that connected to the reservoir, it could scour the dam away and the dam would fail. So it's a very dangerous phenomenon called internal erosion. And uh, you know, we sort of throw this fact around there's Every year in the world, dams of this type, there, there are roughly six dam failures. Half of them happen due to this very phenomenon which we saw here. So it's a very dangerous phenomenon in Southern Union that we knew we had to address. Yeah. And so the, the strategy for addressing it was uh, you know, there's multiple components. Centrally, uh, you know, we did uh, some, some uh, grouting in near the center of the dam. So there's grouting inside the soil parts here, grouting inside the deep bedrock. That and was all done uh, you know, three or four years ago. And is the grouting, by that do you mean kind of like filling it in, filling in spaces? It, it does, that's exactly right. So you're injecting uh, cement type uh, material into those cracks and fissures in the rock, just like you see here. And it's going in and filling those things up and then it hardens. And so it, it creates the deep part of the barrier. So that's, that was done with these two different types, kind, kinds of grout. But then we went in and excavated uh, a trench, basically. It's, it's, it's actually created slightly differently, but it's a solid wall which goes through the dam and through the soil and through the upper part of this very open rock and created this cutoff wall. How far down does that go? So at its deepest points, it's about 180 feet. Uh, beneath the know, like surface of the ground? Beneath or... the surface of the dam. Uh, and, and so this rock, the top of rock varies across the site. It's deeper in some portions than others. And so it, it's as deep as 180 feet. It's typically more like 160, 170 feet. Okay. But it's pretty deep. And uh, the way it's created is, I wish we had a model here. Um, Scotty Barrett has it. Well, I, no, I've got one in my office. I took some little toilet paper tubes and you can put it in Oh, that's neat. you can imagine 